dig the earth and a nice soil, lend the ballast, sour the slip, cut the fibre, mix the cob, tamp the cobosh, dry each lift, render the walls, enter the building. You have to remove the topsoil and get down to that subsoil layer, which this is. and we add water till it achieves a consistency that allows us to make a very, very slippy, fine, silk-like material. What we do is we pour a quantity of it at a certain height and make a, a circular puddle. And we measure across that puddle and we're looking for a um, diameter. When we know we've reached that, we know that we've, we've achieved the, the consistency, the viscosity of the slip that we need to mix with the hemp shiv. Oh, it's almost an organic alive material, you know, it, it breathes. It's like a set of lungs that moves in, a, in and out with the, with the moisture levels. this word optimised a lot so we, we can optimise our thermal side to the wall by using something that is it's got more instances of properties naturally to do that you know you could chop up say reed or straw very finely but from a cellular level the hemp shiv offers a you know, better alternative. I sort of regard it as putting a, a nice thick coat on When you're treading it, you're using the heels to rock back on, so you're getting a lot of pressure. If you've got a group of you, you get into a circle and then move round as a group. When you're treading it, you're using the heels to rock back on, so you're getting a lot of pressure. If you've got a group of you, you get into a circle and then move round as a group. Using the heels and then move round. Ultimately, we will be training builders, cob builders, and all the things we found out now will inform that process. So we like stuff to go wrong or need correcting. That's what it's all about, to my mind. We've got the structural on one side and the thermal on the other. The opposite side, on the thermal side, that's slightly more difficult because it's got this kind of spongy springiness about it. So that is a matter of feel of when you're tamping, and that's uh, actually a good um, side effect of having the, the grills on the side of the formwork, is that when it starts to push out, out, then you know you've got to that point where if you keep tamping things, it's just going to keep pushing more material out so you've reached that point. Really, the compression of it is kind of finite. Once it's been compressed, usually by dropping it in, there's not much more to be gained.
Outside of it would be lime rendered because the properties of lime are very good for external surfaces and inside you might use an earth-based render. These buildings will last several hundred years, if not longer. Ha <laughs> ha.